When you're trying to build strong, healthy arches in the feet, sometimes it makes sense to start with more isolated lower leg strengthening. We can do exercises like this to train the posterior tibialis. We can train the lateral side, so outside part of the calves. Most importantly, we can train medial inside part of the calves. This is what holds up the medial longitudinal arch. And we can train the front, the anterior tibialis, which also assists the posterior tibialis in holding up that arch. We can train the intrinsic muscles of the feet and work on controlling our toes. I can do short foot exercises and work on that neurological control. But all of that is just a stepping stone to the real magic, and that's multi-directional plyometrics. In sports, the arch strength is actually about reactive strength. You wouldn't think that a power lifter is gonna be a good bounder, right? They have muscular strength at slow speeds. They don't have reactive strength. Now in sports, as soon as you're running, as soon as you're jumping and cutting, we're talking about five, six, seven, eight times body weight in force that the arches have to withstand and then spring back into that resupination. So if I'm not getting boom, springy, reactive strength and driving those fast forces through the arch, then we're never gonna develop that reactive strength. And I might develop some good strong arches in the weight room, but that really only helped me develop good standing posture. Maybe it holds up in walking. As soon as we're running, we need that reactive strength. And so I'm training medial, lateral, front, and back. I'm incorporating it all together so these muscles learn how to work together. They learn how to pre-activate. They learn how to co-contract. This is our first line of defense against impact. But not only are we teaching them how to work together, we're actually building strength and stability. Most importantly, we're building that reactive strength, which actually holds up in sports.